the, the God that made Abraham wealthy. That's the, the subtopic that we are using. The God that made Abraham wealthy. Wealth creation part three. After the message, we are going to receive a, a set of twins. They are coming into the church for the very first time. And uh, we are going to dedicate them on the altar today. That's why if you are with your phone, please put your phone. You know, this is a Pentecostal church. Take your phone, put it either in your bag or in your pocket. God should not be talking to you and you are looking at your phone. It's an insult. It's an insult. Don't use the blessing that God has given you to disrespect God. So put your phone in your bag. Hallelujah. So let's look at the God that made Abraham great. Starting with Isaiah 52 and 51 verse 2. Isaiah 51 and verse 2. That's the anchor scripture that we are starting with. And you know we stand up to read the first Bible passage. Choir, thank you for ministering powerfully to us. Anu, Luwawari. Amen. The mercy of God. Uh -huh. And it's the mercy of God that makes a difference in the life of anybody. Let's be on our feet as we read together. Now this, uh, this verse is, is full. It shows the beginning of Abraham and the end of Abraham. Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. Let's honor God's word. Let's honor God's word. Today is loaded. So now when we want to preach to auxiliary boys, we know who to send. <laughs> My dickness. <laughs> I, wanted, I forgot before I just remember again. You know, we have different kind of evangelists in church. I thank God for your life. Uh, some of you don't know that we do evangelists. Evang when, uh, uh, what's his name again? Was the chairman of um, Fele. It was ever I sent to him. That man would not have died. He wouldn't have died. When Eva and the, the team members, I saw a revelation about him. I said they should go and tell him. He welcomed them. He wanted to give them money. He took them inside his sitting room. Told all the area boys to go out. Eva said, when the man was asking, be a local affair, he said he remembered Gyazi. You remember he told me, he said he remember Gyazi. Eh? I now said, tell him to fix a meeting that I will come and pray for him. He said he showed him the leg. S-A-N-J-E-R-A. But the meeting they fixed is area boys did not allow. Protocol did not allow. And I said, I'm not the one that need prayer. But the first time he, they saw him, he welcomed them. He told them, okay, Mama, which wish the pastor. I want to see him. Fix a meeting, but protocol did not allow them to take me to him the second time. And, you know, the man is gone now. Let's read the Bible. Let's read the Bible. After the count of three, one, two, and let's go. Look unto Abraham, your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. Now, how many of you can testify that God increased Abraham? At least the whole world today is saying Abraham's blessings. Now, sit down. Me, I will continue. He said, look to Abraham, which means God is saying this is an example of what I, God, did. If you look at, the, at Abraham, your father, and unto Sarah that bear thee, you will see that I, God, can make a man wealthy. I told us last week, Sunday, a wealthy person is not the person that has a lot of cash. Wealth, according to biblical standard, is number one. A thriving relationship with God, a balanced health, and doing well in your work. Who is a wealthy man? A man that has good relationship with God, a man that has balanced health, and a man that is doing well in his business. That's according to 3 John chapter 1 and verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper even as your soul prospers. So no matter the number of cars you have, houses you build, if you don't have relationship with God, before God you are not wealthy. You are nonsense. You are nothing. The foundation of a wealthy man according to God's standard, Olamweyo, is a man that has a, a solid relationship with God. Because when he dies, his wealth continues up there in heaven. A wealthy person is a man that has a balanced health. No matter what you have, if you don't have a good health, they are like nonsense. Before. They will look like nonsense. And number three, a, a wealthy person is a man that is doing well in his business. So you must always labor in these three areas. And I told us last week, Sunday, how do you connect for it? You won't connect for it unless you have interest for it. That's how it starts. But today we are looking at Abraham. How did God make Abraham great? 
Because we have seen in the Bible that God said, he was alone when I called him. Which means, he had nothing. And God said, I blessed him. I poured the blessing upon him. Now, and after I poured the blessing upon him, I increased him. Do you know that Abraham had 318 men that were born in his house? He didn't count their father and their mother. There was a war that broke out. 318 were being fed. Eh? They were receiving their feeding under one man. Ah, every day. 318. I think it should almost it should be more than one street. Can 300, you know, there are some streets that are very long in Lagos. 318 can stay there. Uh, that would be, you know, in Lagos, 15 people can be in one room. Uh, if this place is Lagos, some people will be sleeping when we leave. They will jump in and sleep. We will not just, we will rent even the corridor, we will rent outside. So, 318 men. Now, if you count their mothers, you count their fathers, you count their sisters, Abraham had nations that were, that were feeding. He is a blessed man. So it's a man we should study. How did God make him great? I won't take your time. There are three things I'm going to teach you. But I'm going to teach you those three things from Genesis chapter 12 and verse 1. We have seen the example that Abraham was great. He was a wealthy man. He did so well. He prospered. God made him great. But how did God do it? Look at the only instruction that God gave him. The major instruction that God gave him that turned his life around. Now, the Lord had said unto Abraham, the Lord had said, where is the screen? It's no longer working. The Lord had said unto Abraham, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and thy, thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land I will show thee. Now look at the instruction. Get thee out of thy country and thy kindred. Now, what does that mean? Get out of the group of your people. He now said, and thy father's house. Now, and from thy father's house. Now, which means leave everything you have known. Abraham, everything you have grew, grown up with. Everything you grew up with, Abraham, leave. Ah, ah. You know, this scripture, before God could open it, since I've been born again, I've, he has not opened it to me the way he opened it yesterday. I had prepared another message, but it was in the evening where I sat down. I was playing just with my son at home, and the voice of the Lord came. You know what God said to me? He said, do you know that? When I told Abraham to leave his father and mother, you know what I was trying to do for Abraham? I wanted to change Abraham's mind mentality. I'm going somewhere, I will explain some things to you. That see, your mindset cannot change if your environment does not change. Because it is your environment at times, in fact mostly, that determines the way you think. Your environment controls your, determines, creates even your thinking from, for, you, from, uh, for you. Now go and find out. We that grew up from polygamous family, go and find out. Whenever we eat, we don't care about meat. Go and find out. Polygamous family children we eat to satis for, for satisfaction. That's why it is the fastest finger that gets easily, easily satisfied. Now, if you go and look at children that was born from a normal family setting, husband, one husband, one wife, three children, you will see that when they eat, you will see the difference. They might eat small, eat meat small. But she a watu jeki wong ko e ba ti wa si oju kan wong ko wong bo be si be ko se into bo da yano amo ye yano to wa be but a amo ye a okeleta ma bukato yo so ni kaluku a kuku fiyano le a sheki ni a face yo okeleba do you are you get what I'm saying that was the problem I had when I just got married my wife will serve food and put meat and by the time she we, she eat one or two you know she will begin to take me out. leave the meat let's finish the food first. So, God wanted to do something in Abraham's life. And for him to start, he had to say to Abraham, Abraham, wait, 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 wait. Leave your father and mother. Ah. Because, listen, your mindset can be what is limiting you. I will tell you some things as we go on. Put your phone aside. Listen to God's voice to you now. So, God said to Abraham, my first instruction to you, Abraham, Leave your, your, your country. Ah, my country. 
Okay? Number two, leave your kindred, your people, your uncle, your sisters, your brothers, leave them. Number three, leave your father and mother's house. And the Bible says in verse two that Abraham obeyed. When I now took my time, I began to study. Lord, what is the meaning of these things? God said there are major three things because look up. There are certain relationships that must live your life or that you must end if you will prosper. I come again. There are certain relationships you must end if you will prosper. I want idore kwa kwa to yeke obodo koko jada nutuba ma shiriri. Can we go deeper now? Now let's look at the three, one after the other. Number one, look at this. Before you start writing, don't write yet. At 75, don't forget, Abraham was 75 years old when God told him to live. At 75, Abraham, Abraham's family were not irritated that he was still staying with them. Beloved, cut off from your life every relationship that, that, that does things for you that you should do for yourself. Relationships that indirectly deprives you the right to carry your responsibilities. Listen to me. Some people love you to the point that their love for you is destroying you. At 75, come on, Abraham, Mujade. Keep a by Lamale, so for Abraham, what are you still doing around my house? At 75, Abraham, to log be ya wo, wasi le babae. Do they love him? Answer me now. They don't love him. Now that's why I'm talking to you now. As you are seated, begin to think of the relationships in your life that is blocking your view from your responsibility. That does not want to allow you to be responsible. That's the reason why you are not yet wealthy. Can you imagine for a grown-up man to still be living in his father's house? He's not paying rent. I want to to Yekushi Waluju. Igbato san rent. Oh, san wo lewe. One boy ni. Oh, le ronu. Ba lo efe ronu. Ba lo efe shere. Oh, le shere re ki shekpe. That's why God had to say to Abraham, see, see, this one that daddy is telling you he love you. You are following daddy at 75 with your wife. That's the reason why you are still where you are. God wanted to change his environment so that he can change his mindset. Who are those that are blocking you from your responsibility? Sending food to you. Don't worry, you. don't worry, you. don't worry. You. As long as you have me as your mommy, even if you know if you have not yet gotten a job, don't worry. I will make sure you are eating. They are destroying you. I read the story of a young man on the internet. This man became a bus conductor at a very tender age. He was just about 15 or 16 years old in Lagos. In fact, the guy there newspaper had to pick his, his picture in the year 2005. You know? And they said to this, they, they put it on, 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 on the newspaper. How can an underage be a bus conductor? But this young man said, I read the story. He now has his master's. You know what he said? He said, people didn't know that I was doing the conductor. And when I close in the evening, I go for evening classes. I will close in the evening, I will go for evening classes. I wrote my GCE, I passed my GCE. You know, I wrote my, my jam, I passed my jam. I went to university, I finished my first degree. I went again, with, I was still running the job as a bus conductor. I did and I came out, now I have my master's. And now he came on Facebook, he said, this is me now. And this was me then. Some relationships must expire. Any relationship that wants to be doing for you what you are supposed to be doing for yourself, cut it off. It's destroying you. You don't know that anyone that carries your responsibility has carried your future. Some men will sit down, grab and say, I thank God for my wife. I'm going in fact, leave your father and your mother now. God wanted to change his mindset. There are certain things you must never allow any man to do for you. 
Are you angry? If you're angry, just use your hand to rub your stomach. For one, it shall be well. Listen, at 75, if not that God spoke to Abraham, beloved, Abraham didn't think to stand on his own. I wrote something here I want to read to your hearing. Such relationships will kill your creative instincts. You know what they call creative instincts? There's, an, there's something we have, every human being. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's called initiative. In Yobama, we need a tinuda. And to Yobani, we make a book by year, like a monetary and social magbemi. Can I tell you this truth? Look up, everybody. There is no air power of destiny anywhere that will carry your challenges 100 percent. In fact, air pass of destiny will not come to your life until you move your life to a point that the air pass of destiny see that uh -uh, if he can move to this place without us, let us help him now. And regret. Abraham, leave your father and mother's hair. I know some of you will be saying, hey, Mother Pastor, to this My father has five flats in this Ibadan city. If I stand by the Yoruba tradition of Twenty-something years ago. Oh, she kept it up, and he secretary. Hello, the salary is seven hundred. Team, but yet, to be anybody today, my auntie to be my salary is not coming. My father is not here. My son's salary is from Biosho Meta. I got keyboardist. To my my play, eight hundred. I only did the one five. One is a man that does that. He needs drama. He got drama. Hello, my mother is seven hundred. I'm telling you story of twenty six years ago. So 600 plus 700, 13, plus 800, 2001. I must pay at the end of this the month. Mawama will you buy him? He got two lentils on Wolfu. One bear some wool lini. Oh, need to delago Makala. There might be no or alone on you. These are things, see, it, cre it does not allow you to think. Abraham, leave your father and your mother. Let's go on. They call it love. But in the real sense, it is destruction. God said to Abraham, leave them. And I wrote here, please, don't live in a family house. Don't eat family food. Get out there and take responsibility. Work hard and it will surprise you how far you will go. God wants to make Abraham a man. Don't let your family members send rent to you. And I also wrote here, stop being daddy and mommy's boy. Begin to live your life. Begin to space yourself from relationships that makes you a dependent. You know, that's why every one of you, look up, look up. I'm your pastor. I'm your pastor. Every one of you that have businesses on your own, if you have an office, go and get secretary. Are you hearing me? It will increase your drive. 
If you don't have an office, don't work from home. Go and rent an office. Rent will increase your drive. It will make you think of what next to do. There are opportunities in this life. Yes, we know that people are saying Nigeria is hard, but come to a level where I live. If you see the trailer, trailer road of cement that enters a level every day, it does not come out with one bag. It comes out empty. The second day again, another trailer is going. People are building. I made an illustration here last week. Somebody said, Pastor, what if my business is not moving? You change it now. Did they attach your destiny to that business? I told us last week Sunday, what people pay for is value. If what you are doing adds value to them, what will happen? They will bring out money. And I gave an illustration. If I said to Apo now, Apo, Apo, please, I need 50, give me 50,000. Let me pray for you. He will say, Papa, 50,000, it's very... But let me ask him, Apo, do you have international passport? You say, yes, I have. Bring it. Let him give me. I call my family members in Canada. They send an invitation for me. I pay some people to do processing for me. And he gets Canadian visa on his passport. And I say, I will see. Clearly. Canada. Oh, 50,000 will be in last week. I need 300,000. Bye. Egg bag, be. Why is it not no answer. Why to Shemawa? To revive. Ah, Canada le ma kwesa. Owo to ban she ti o mo wa ko a devalu. Abi ko jake bi to be owo yen lo. Wo ni die. Ki se gbogbo bi te ba ti rero na logun. Ah, we ro na le awon ki se gbogbo won. But you know how to get where what will bring money. Think, 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 and be praying. Be thinking and don't be praying and just be closing your eyes. You pray and think, you pray and think, you pray and think. Lord. Ah, when Joseph got before Pharaoh, what were they looking for? They were looking for the interpreter of the dream. Mulala. Alati mudela, malu tini, umbe to salami. Mudeti be law bugwa won jamma ku sent in consul. Joseph smiled. He said, sir. Those seven cows show seven years. The thin one shows that there will be scarcity for seven years. The fat one shows that there will be scarcity for seven years. The thin one that swallowed the fat one shows that the scarcity of seven years will be so hard that there will not be a remembrance that was scarcity, there was abundance before. Ah, Pharaoh said, what do we do? He says, sir, look for a wise man. A wise man that will manage the abundance in such a way that when the scarcity comes, we will not feel it. You know what Joseph said? Pharaoh said? Where can we find another wise man? If not you that brought the interpretation of the dream. And that same day, they gave him a job. That same day, they married for him. That same day, they, they gave him a visa to tour the whole Egypt round. Why? Because what he had to offer them was adding value. Are you learning something at all? Abraham, leave your father. That was the beginning of his world. Change your environment. God was saying to him, so that your mindset, this one that you are doing, Baba, daddy's boy, mommy's boy, mommy's boy, mommy's girl. Number two. So, the first set of people that must live your life, what did I say? Anybody that is blocking you from your responsibility. Gbogbo awon ti o je ko soju se o ta e ni won If it's your wife you know you can't dis, you can't dis, divorce her but stop allowing her to carry your responsibility Do you play your role as a man Number 2 Do you notice that Abraham didn't recognize the promised land until Lot left him. Do you notice that in the Bible? God said, leave your father and mother. Leave every, your, even your kindred. He carried Lot along. Look somewhere. Lot was part of what he would have avoided. But look at what happened. As they were going, Abraham was going. Lot was going. They were going. The Bible says there was consistent crisis 
between the people working with Abraham and the people working with Lot. If you notice, Lot did not do anything about it. Lot did not say, ah, uncle minimum. Emma, 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 Emma. Lot didn't say that. It means Lot himself was enjoying it. I wrote something down. When you notice unnecessary clash with people you are trying to help or befriend. Shall I go on? Some people are writing. When you notice unnecessary clash with people you are trying to help or befriend at all costs, God is telling you to let them be. The people you are trying to help, the people you are trying to make friends with, clash is always coming. Clash is always coming. Every time misunderstanding, you see said to it, okay, maybe let's say I'll anyway, Ali, 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 Yarawa. Another one will see ah, or a family in Wali, Yarawa. Another one, family in God is trying to tell you, leave these people. You know what Abraham did there? Eh? Abraham just called Lord, said, Lord, come, my brother, see, we cannot fight. You know what? Choose any place. If you go to the right, I will go to the left. You see that Lord did not say no, but that means it has been in his heart. Some of you, you are holding with you the people that are the reason why you are not rising. Some relationship have expired. Let it die. Okay, 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 Because you want to keep them, your friends, you, are, you have so much come down to their level, yet they are not satisfied. Let that relationship go. Abraham said to Lord, if you go to the left, I will go to the right. You know what Lord said? Ah, sir, that place, I like that place. Very wicked. And Abraham had been the one carrying him all his life. Some people like you so much that they like you to remain poor at their level. So when they notice that you are a little bit rising, they want to find fault in the way you talk. They want to find fault in the way you dress. They want to find fault in everything. You better let them go. Say here, say here, say here, say here. Because that's why I started by saying to you that God didn't say to Abraham, see the land until Lot left. Imagine if Lot had followed him into that new level. I myself, your pastor, I had to get to the point. You know, there was a time if I preach every message, somebody will say, one for me preaching. This one will say, one for me preaching. This one will say, liberty. The highest in the No, is the truth. How many of you send money to me monthly? The God that has called me is taking care of me now. Will I now because of you not do what God has sent me? Lie, lie. If you don't come, internet is watching. At times when I go to the internet, I see 1,000 views. Eh? But I must tell you the truth. Hear me well. Such people are lots. Let them go. Do you notice that Lot did not try in any way to hold on to his relationship with Abraham? It means he himself actually wanted to separate. Ah, 
How did God meet Abraham? What's number one? He changed his environment. Before I got to this point in my life, my mom was living abroad. She liked to send money to me. One day she called me, Pastor Joe. Ma binu kwe miti sendu wosi. Money mom ema sendu wosi me mo. Pastor Joe um binu munerara. E joma emilu yeke ma sendu wosi. She was shocked. She mo kelo mi nu ita ba tiri wola tabro di fale mangpe. Anwe ifa tunfa kuya tio jeku urunu. Bubala la kala wati kwe boda el America. Boba wuko to 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 ko ever lady eh. Boda mi boda mi mama zuzi wuko la meta. Owa gbe gbo ayi e ku lodo lorun. Owa gbe si owa boda tu wa la America. Learn to begin to do some things by yourself. All my family members are not here. Most of them abroad. No, it's one Canada, one Canada. It's one. But see, I am not waiting for any one of them. Oh. So that any time they come, they will meet me well. Sister Abraham, leave your father and mother. Brother Abraham, leave your father and mother. Face your life. He a look for many success. So, don't forget that number two. I want lot. Did you get it? Number three, the last one. If I would take the child education. Do you notice that Abraham did not allow his other brother Nahor to follow him, even when it was clear? That Abraham was the firstborn. Look up. I want to say something here. Before I tell you the point. His father Terah gave birth to three of them. Abraham firstborn. Nahor secondborn. Haran thirdborn. Haran was the father of Lot. Haran died young. That was why Abraham carried Lot along. But there was a secondborn. Secondborn. His name was Nahor. When Abraham was living, he didn't take him along. I wrote something down. Lesson from here is this. Don't carry a burden that God did not give you. There are times in your life, hear me, that you will need to balance first and focus on your balance before you begin to carry other people. Or else, you will struggle for life. Oluwani ki malo Abro mi tele mi Cheri eru ni o je ke lomi ko ga o ti poju I'm telling you mi mo boye notice e lo ro kini awon to la won junu family lo man tete make mi mo boye notice Did you notice <laughs> That's one thing I notice about life. Eh, to wala nuju. What ye kin nini? Iru ama so kitu. Eh, iru ikpoti kende wa tu ba je mini mo wambe family wa oni ribai tu wambe ni. Into tin teri si e kuti e ku teri si koko di dinner. We ya wen yon tumbo. E yon me lo look padawa ni no a wantu ti ya yibo. No a wantu ya yibo. E yon me lo look padawa she yin lori. Ah, family, family, what did I want? I want that. Where are they? Where are they? Did they know you? That's why I see. The first thing is this. Look at your Bible now. It's clear. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself, not more than yourself. You must love yourself first. 
When you now know how to love yourself, eh, to love your neighbor will be easy because you already know how to love yourself. Abraham did not say, now, my junior brother, oh, you yeah, follow me. Because if you go and read that scripture, their father was already dead. Terah died. Abraham and others got to Haran, where God now said to Abraham, now leave them. When God was telling me this yesterday, he said, son, that's the reason why so many, of, so many are still struggling. They have not got into the place of wealth. They are carrying the things that I have not told them to carry. They want to be nice to everybody. But Abraham did not call now. He left him. He but told him, Lord, you know what he did? He said, my friend, if you want to go to the left, go to the left. Let me go to the right. That's why we can talk about the God of Abraham today. Focus, Again, sorry about you, and your mommy, no sorrow, and your mommy. A jaw. Emma, Emma, Queru, I eat in Luria, one more to share in the day. That's why we are telling young people don't marriage, see, don't run into marriage when you have not become something on your own. I always ask our ladies, let the man meet you walking. Jack Cockney, Baulo, where Kuni Robish, to buffet. Because talk on you, but bash your love where you, to your bank and can love where to work where one way to you walk on my di bukata phone. But let's do my daddy. What my do the code the code to rush on. Come on, don't look what discover. Ah, ah. Come on, see you on lay. Could they see me thirty leg barbecue? What's your name? Gas. Yes, gas. It's it. What do they call the eh, but ah, eh, dear, dear sweetie, eh, eh, go to the show, my mom, see a while, eh, favorite, eh, gas, the canton. Talk only about the village, okay, she can't do one of me by the kick on your teach, you know, what you need, come on, look, and yeah, could see be fair, actually, go not to suspend the fissory shock absorber, party with own car. Paris she to unko je ko ba nbi to tin sise You know why I'm saying all this The children we are giving birth to I search the time I, I search throughout bible listen I search throughout the bible We are just using it to encourage our grammars ko se nkan to nje unje omo nu bible <laughs> I confirm and call it our grandma. One you, the Bible says the wealthy man will leave an inheritance behind for his children's children. Not even for his children alone. Yo, fio gunle, eh? So he bolun jo moti wa fe yo fwe. To wa ko gbogbo aye ti e to fi tomo to wa laye mo Ah no ma tomo gbagbe aye ti e Te ba ti e binu te wa church mo e ti gbo te le na But is it truth Because mistake to polo ko ma ah e je nko gbogbo aye mi gbogbo aye mi kin fi tomo Wo As I can know, mommy lost school. I told me, "What's of me? Can you prepare or can me learn it?" Oh my, you was it? Wah! Hey, I go and suck. Mommy suck. Abu run suck. 
Oh, she buy. Ah, Emi e wan sofu mi pe. O ma loli o konjo kon. She e dela o mo te Emi. Eh, let me tell you this truth. I just tomba te pa de fe o kan o e di number two. Tomba bi mo e di number three. Ti oju she ba de wan koko bo toma. Wan bo ti yawo. Na tomba soke mo mi nko. Abi, ule she go don niche. Ibi si mojo kusi ni jeta, mo konanti ya mi ati baba mi. Bubu eli omo eli omo uma tilo. Emi na ama lonjo kon. I now started talking to myself where I sat down. I have to I have to secure my old age. Abraham, do what? Leave your father and your mother. We need to change our mindset. We need to change our mindset. We need to change our mindset. And we need to allow some relationships to die on their own. Some people have expired from your life. And don't forget this third one. Any extra luggage you are carrying that is disturbing your life. Please. There's nothing bad in you inviting them. I have this mind to bless you. To take you far. But it's affecting me. Ask my wife. She know me. Me, I'm a sincere person. Hey, oh, Tony. Mok ba driver kong ba kwa je ki zari so story yifu yi. Ah. Simba de wa so salary driver ton ba yi. Ibi ya wa ma kwa mi. Mok bo savings mi mo fin so salary driver. Mok ba ki baba. Mok ni baba ya joko. Olo wu mi kin ba yin ke ba mi sise mo ni bo baba mi ni tan yin ijo ti o ba se ko nu mo to emi mi mo mo se nwa ki n to gba yin ah mo won ti ma pa si si ma gbo kada wa ti gba ti mo ti gba yin mo ni mo se siro epo ti e ti won to yi mo ni mo repo 70000 mo wa fi 30000 san salary yin Muni Baba, tell Baba he can join you. I'm, I'm as busy as yeah. Muni Ewo, we buy him for ten thousand. He ille, he ma fi join, he ma fi lishe me. Muni Aisha, Aisha, she ni ma loni. Today, I, I tell you, my Aisha, Aisha. Aisha ni Aisha. Ah. Muni so e ma ma lo ni o. Tin ba tun tin ni din, baba. Ma pe. Because that time I thought it to be easy. Oh yeah, inside tin ma fi ma lo kakiri. E say ba mi drop o mi le in school. E ba mi drop e le. E je n drop won fun ra mi. Mo 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 se manage nsin. Don't run into a level that is not yours. So, go back home today. Sit down and calculate very well. You know, if you have rent to pay, hear me, you have rent to pay, you have school fees to pay, you have NEPA bill to pay, you won't sleep anyhow. 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 Some of you need to go and pack out of family's house so you can be serious. I want to close. I, I con we'll continue Abraham's story next week Sunday at the second service.
bow down yes and begin to thank the Lord for what you have had. As the child dedication gets ready, I want to thank Bob Mawali. Go to the back. You dance from the back.